Thank you, Bob. And can we just take a moment to acknowledge how great this American for the Arch team is, all of them, the whole staff. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm a warm-up act till we get to Chairman Jane Chu, who's incredible. And uh, uh, Jane, thank you for letting me come to the family reunion. Uh, I spent eight and a half of my years under Chairman Joya and Chairman Landisman at the NEA, and uh, it means a great deal to me. I'm, uh, I'm honored and humbled uh, to be uh, nominated as the next uh, chairman of the NEH. I have remarkable colleagues there. And I'll be brief, something I'm not known for, something that's not natural to Mississippians such as myself. Uh, but, but I want to say what a, what a blessing, an absolute blessing it is to, to work with these colleagues, these dedicated public servants. Uh, our agency is, is the most essential agency for the funding of the humanities in this nation. From research scholars to documentary filmmakers such as Ken Burns, from K-12 educational seminars to the preservation of the, of the presidential papers. In 2026, we'll be celebrating the 250th anniversary of the establishment of this country and the presidential papers related to that, the ratification of the Constitution, those documents our agency has been invested in preserving and presenting and interpreting for more than half a century. You know, for example, the Smithsonian did the remarkable thing of, of preserving Betsy Ross's uh, American flag and they should be commended. Uh, what is probably a, a more of a secret is those preservationists, those conservators, they were educated through NEH funding. And so in many ways, we're the quiet sister agency to the NEA, but let me tell you, we get it done. So uh, it, it's uh, for however long uh, I am able to work with my colleagues and, and lead this agency, I want you to know that we'll continue to support universities, independent scholars, museums, and libraries. We'll invest in infrastructure through design and construction grants, including the digital humanities. And these grants are going to require private matching uh, dollars. So, three and four to one matches. And as I go around the country, people are glad to hear that. They want federal dollars to be catalytic. They want to marry them to local support from the community. That's an essential part of how these endowments work. We do it together with our communities. We're gonna continue not just to preserve Native American language, to, but to revitalize them, to have multi-generational stories. We want these essential expressions of what it means to be an American to continue Native American, Native Alaska, Native Hawaiian. This is just you know, a, a sampling of some of what we've done. And I want to say in terms of uh, uh, we're all here because someone influenced us. And I would be remiss if I didn't acknowledge that I had the, the great honor in graduate school to be recruited into the study under Bill Ferris, who was chairman of the NEH under President Clinton. And Bill was my mentor. And then my lifelong friend, Dana Joya, who led the NEA under President Bush, was my mentor. And their bipartisan, nonpartisan approach has, uh, has always been a message to me. And they believe, and I believe, that the arts and humanities are for all Americans, in all places, from all backgrounds, all walks of life, for all time. Thank you.